At this point, I am sure it's no surprise when I say that the star content type across all social networks is a chart farm video. But with the amount of videos uploaded a day and videos watched, it can be hard to stand out with your TikToks or Reels. And one crucial piece of having quality videos is how much time and love you invest into them, meaning how you edit your videos. But luckily, there are powerful and free tools like Kafka that help you with the editing process. So I'm gonna share some tips from the most basic to the pro-like actions that you can use to stand out with your TikToks, Reels, and YouTube shorts. Hello Magic Cooler, my name is Aoston and I am back with another video talking all about cap cut editing. This video is going to walk you through the top cap cut editing tips so you can succeed with your short form videos. And what will you need? You just need the cap cut app, a good spirit, and a touch of creativity. First, we're going to start with the basics and then we're going to work up to the pro-like actions which is using effects and advanced tools that you can use to create unique videos. So, shall we get into it? The first thing that you need to do with your video is remove the external noise. Even if your video contains valuable content, if there's distracting noise in the background, it can make users stop watching your video and probably not come back. But don't worry, removing the audio in CapCut is super easy. All you're gonna do is go to the app, click on the video, go to the toolbar, and then click the reduce noise button at the bottom of the screen. Select this and voila, you have clear audio just like that. Now it's time to move on to an editing secret that can make your videos viral prone. This is removing any gaps from your video that don't add any value. For example, the few seconds at the beginning of the video when you're catching your breath or if there's any pauses or breaks when you're speaking. And to remove these leftover moments, you need to use the video timeline. So for example, click on the video and then on this icon to split the clips for the silent part and then again when you start talking. Select the clip that you have cut and you can just delete it. You can do the same process for all the clips that you want to cut to create a dynamic and fluid video. The next step I recommend is to add a song or a sound to your video. Now, I am sure you know you can do this from most social networks, but if you do this with CapCut, then you can preview the video before posting it. However, let me warn you, adding audio on CapCut can be a little bit difficult if you don't have the music already on your device or phone, but you can also access it with this trick, so let me tell you. Find a trending song from TikTok or Instagram and then play it and do a screen record. Then go to CapCut and select the option to add audio and then on Extract It. This feature will add the isolated audio from the video and then voila, you have your viral prone music in your video. You can also move the audio track around to overlap the part of the video that it fits best and you can even cut the beginning or the end of the track and thanks to this feature you can add a song let the app identify the beat of the music and then create a montage that follows the beat of the music in just a few seconds to do this you're going to add a song and then click on that audio file and then find the option the flag icon titled beats and then you're gonna see an auto generate option. So you're gonna to toggle that on. And then if you click on beats, your video will match the tempo. Once this has been turned on, you will see orange dots indicating where the beat has changed if you want to clip it. Then you can use the split feature, which I mentioned earlier. You can add or delete clips and make it to your liking. Okay, now that we've run through the basic features, I'm gonna take it up a notch and give you some effects and tricks that will help make your video come to life. The first one is the zoom option. I'm sure you've seen videos on social media and instead of a static shot, they have 
a zoom in feature like the one that you're watching right now. To do this from CapCut, move to the beginning of the video and then find the diamond icon with a plus and create which in videography is called a keyframe. Find the part that you want to zoom in on, add another keyframe, and then use two fingers to zoom in and CapCut will add the animated feature so you have your viral zoom. The second tip is to add subtitles. As we have learned, uploading a video without subtitles can honestly hurt your rankings, hurt your views, impressions, etc. So with CapCut, you can add subtitles in just a few seconds. Go to the text option and then find the auto caption. Then select the language that you want the subtitles to appear in and then choose the sound source. So this can be from a voiceover, from the video, or from all. And then lastly, you can add some animation to your subtitles if you want. Then just press start and CapCut will automatically transcribe what is said in the video. But if there's any typos or errors, you can go in manually and edit those. Also, since the subtitles are gonna be pretty standard, you can always go in and add a little bit of creativity and customize these to your liking. But if you want an even faster way to do this, you can click on the batch edit option and all of the subtitles will appear in paragraphs. Here, you can edit them to your liking, break them up how you want, and also see all of them in one place. You can also change the font, the text color, you can add animation. And one that I personally like that is not too overcomplicated is called Spring. By the way, Vetcher Cooler, if you want a full video on how to make captions for your videos like a pro in CapCut, let us know in the comments. At this point with the features that we've run through, you probably already have a pretty decent video for Instagram or TikTok, but I'm gonna explain some effects that you can add to add that little viral touch to your videos. The first one is the TikTok classic, which is the green screen filter to add an image or a video in the background while you explain something. And with CapCut, you can remove the background of videos automatically. Click on the video and then in the toolbar, look for the crop and remove background option. Now, all you have to do is add the video that you want under the clip and the crop option, and then both screens will display at the same time. Another very common effect on TikTok is the text to speech. This is a great option if you don't like to talk a lot in your videos. To add this from CapCut, select the text option, write in whatever message you want, and then you will see the text-to-speech option. So you can click on this and then add a voice filter if you want. Another thing that is doing really well on social media is because they add that dramatic effect. It's also an easy way to switch up your content without doing a ton of work. And with CapCut, it's super easy. All you need to do is select the clip and then choose the speed. You can click on the normal option if you want to change the speed so you can make it faster or slower by selecting the curve option, or you can add speed animation. So this adds a little bit of a different effect to your video. My recommendation is testing out the different options available. So there's a shape, there's a zoom, there's a ton of options. Lastly, you have the option to add transitions which helps your clips merge more seamlessly and it gives your video more fluidity so it's not awkward cuts and stop. To add a transition, click on the icon that appears in the middle of two clips. After selecting this, CapCut will show you a variety of transition options so you can select the one that you like best. There are a ton of options and even more in the pro version, but there's more than enough to get started in the free option. An extra bonus tip I recommend is to lower the duration of transitions so you have a quick and smooth transition in your videos. Well, Electricooler, are you ready to put these tips into action? You know that you can leave any comments, questions, or if you want us to make a part two about CapCut editing tips, let us know in the comments. And now I'm going to leave you with the last tip that will help you dedicate more time to editing your videos, programming them in an app like Metricool. If you don't know how to do it, watch this video where I will explain 
how to schedule a month's worth of TikTok videos in just a few minutes. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything. See you next time, Hatchicolor.